The measures spelled out by the cabinet secretary in charge of agriculture are aimed at addressing the unstable sugar sector, which is now threatened with collapse due to the influx of sugar imports. The ministry has directed the Kenya Sugar Board to suspend all registration of sugar importers with immediate effect until a fresh validation process is completed. It is to ensure that the market uh, is, is restored for our millers, for farmers to continue with their normal livelihoods. According to the ministry, total imports into the Kenyan market stood at over 147,000 metric tons at the beginning of this year, with the Comesa region accounting for 73,000 metric tons. The Comesa tariff regime is due to expire next year, with stakeholders fearing the worst for the local sugar sector, as it will not withstand competition from cheaper imports from the region. Sugar millers have also been put on the spot, with the minister ordering them to submit the list of all their distributors and customers to enable it to monitor the market to avoid distortions. The consumer is still suffering high retail prices in excess of Kenya shillings 120 per kilo at some retail outlets. On this account, I hereby direct that all licensed millers immediately suspend their dedicated distributorship and open up to a larger retailing distribution network. The sector's regulator, Kenya Sugar Board, was also directed to strengthen its surveillance capacity to deter sugar coming from unofficial channels. The government also lifted the ban imposed on sugar exports from the country to enable local millers export their produce. For Citizen Business, I am Denis Otieno.